fingering, decay, worsted. What do these terms mean? You hear them all the time in, knitting, in the knitting world. That's what we're talking about today, so I hope you'll stay with us. Well, hi there and welcome. I'm Allison from Unraveled, and today we are talking about yarn weights. Um, these are the terms that you, that you see in knitting patterns. You'll hear people talk about them, and it's when people are talking about a fingering weight yarn or a DK or a worsted, what do those terms really mean? Well, essentially, um, they're kind of like calling your yarn small, medium, and large. All right, that, that's really all, all it is. Uh, they're very general terms and they are relative to each other. So a fingering weight yarn is something that's going to be smaller than a DK weight or a worsted weight, but you haven't defined very precisely what that fingering weight yarn is, how, what size it is. Conversely, a worsted weight yarn is something that's going to be bigger or thicker than a fingering or a DK weight, but it's going to be thinner than, say, a bulky or a chunky or one of the jumbo yarns. All right, so they're, they're relative descriptors. Um, now, where we come, where we, how we determine which bucket a particular yarn is going to go into is determined by something called wraps per inch. And so there's a, a great little tool, looks like this. Um, this is called a, a wraps per inch tool. And what you would do, this is a, a one inch cut in the bottom of it. And what you would do is wrap your yarn around it. And the number of times that you can wrap your yarn into this cut uh, determines which of the buckets a particular yarn is going to go into. So as an example, this is, um, Barocco's Ultra Alpaca. It's a it's termed a worsted weight yarn. And as you can see, I've got this wrapped around here. I don't know if you can see it clearly enough to count it, but I have wrapped my yarn around this, this tool 10 times. All right, so that would be termed 10 wraps per inch, which is, is within the range for a worsted weight yarn, which is typically nine to 12 wraps per inch. Okay. Compare that to a fingering weight yarn. So this is uh, a leftover bit from a project. I know the dyer was red sock, blue sock, but I'm sorry, I can't tell you exactly what the colorway is anymore. Um, but this one I wrapped 15 times. And as you can see, it's, it's considerably thinner than the worsted. Okay. That is really all there is to it. It's, they aren't, uh, the term for fingering, the term for DK is not hard and fast definitions of what something is. They are general terms for a range of yarn sizes. And so while coming in to substitute one DK for another or one worsted for another is not a particularly exact science, um, saying that you're looking for a worsted certainly gives us a place to start looking and from there we would move into gauge to get you to really narrow you down for yarn substitution if that's what you're looking for all right i hope this helps i hope this gives you a little bit of of uh, clarity around what these terms mean what they are and i hope you'll join us again soon thanks so much talk to you soon bye